The Lenovo Legion Phone Pro is a big deal when it comes to the evolution of gaming smartphones, if you ask me. But how does it stack up against the incredible Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, which is flawless in speed tests? Well, the Lenovo comes paired with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip, while we have the vanilla Snapdragon 865 on the Sony. We have LPDDR5 RAM on both, which are both set at 8 gigs of RAM. And we have UFS 3.1 storage on the Legion, as opposed to UFS 3.0 on the Xperia 1 Mark II. We have that wonderful 144 hertz refresh rate on the Legion. We're stuck to 60 on the Xperia, but we have enabled motion reduction over there. And we're gonna be using their respective gaming launches over here. We're gonna be disabling all our animations under developer options over here in order to test out raw performance. Round one is gonna be all about boot and fingerprint unlock. Round two will be all about initial opening of app speed. And round three will be all about RAM management. It's gonna be using my fingers over here. So to keep things accurate, we're gonna pop GoPro footage at the bottom left-hand corner. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start with a boot here to see which one can power up quicker than the other one. The Lenovo does it in 14 seconds, 1.5 seconds quicker than that of the Xperia. It is currently in landscape mode that will switch to portrait as soon as we get into the phone. And the Legion Phone Pro also refreshes the app icons quicker than that of the Xperia. We have an optical under display fingerprint sensor on the Lenovo as opposed to a side mounted physical one on the Xperia. And the Lenovo one is quicker every single time, grabbing it its third points and final points in round one as opposed to zero on the Xperia, making sure all apps are closed in the background going into round two of here, the speed test, the Legion Phone Pro open up the camera app quicker than that of the Xperia, flipped to the selfie cam at the same time with a pop-up, hats off to you Lenovo, and took the snap pretty much at the exact same time as that of the Xperia 1 Mark II. Going into the Photos app, once again, too close to call, though the Xperia opened up the photo slightly quicker than that of the Legion, making it one point apiece. Now, two points for the Legion after opening up the calculator app slightly faster. Going into the Phone app over here, the Lenovo grabs its third point. Going into Settings, its fourth point, and the first non-system app is indeed speed check and internet speed test which the Xperia 1 Mark II isn't known to open up quicker than other Android devices out there. So two points for the Xperia as opposed to four on the Legion so far. We're not testing our download upload in this internet speed test just how long it actually takes to get through the speed test. 22.5 seconds on the Lenovo, the exact same 22.5 on the Xperia 1 Mark II so no points were allocated over there. Going into Spotify over here, a music app, the Xperia 1 Mark II opens that one up quicker. Not just one point behind that of the gaming centric Lenovo Legion phone. Pro. Going into a photo editing app here, Photoshop Express. The Legion opens it up quicker, goes into the photo quicker and saves it to gallery quicker as well with that wonderful UFS 3.1 storage as opposed to the 3.0 on the Xperia 1 Mark II. Going into a video editing app here, Adobe Premiere Rush. Eight points now for the Lenovo Legion, opening it up quicker and going into the project quicker, now nine points. Now we're gonna go ahead and export this 4K 25 frames per second clip and compress it down to 1080p, match the 25 frames per second. Hit export, we've sped things up bottom right hand corner. We do have UFS 3.1 on the Lenovo and UFS 3.0 on the Xperia, but the Xperia was a second quicker than that of the Legion. Very strange there, doesn't seem like UFS 3.1 is yet optimized for video editing rendering apps. Going into Astral VPN, the Legion opens it up quicker, but they both turn it on at the same time and which one opens up Facebook quicker this is why we needed VPN here in China the Legion opens that one up quicker it was too close to call when opening up Instagram next social media app here is indeed Twitter which the Xperia 1 Mark II opens up quicker a six point lead for the Lenovo so far so good on you Lenovo and going into the YouTube app the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II was slightly quicker so now just five points behind that of the Legion phone pro However, going into my channel, let's see which one can grab that point. And it is indeed allocated to the Xperia 1 Mark II. Now seven points, just four points behind that of the Legion Phone Pro. Very similar speed test this when I compared the ROG Phone 3 to the Xperia 1 Mark II. Though remember the ROG Phone 3 did indeed come out on top in total score as well as raw speed in round two. Let's see what happens with this Lenovo. Now 13 points for the Legion after going into and opening up Netflix slightly quicker than that of the Xperia. 13 points still going into Subway Surfers. The Xperia 1 Mark II opened that one up quicker, just four points behind the Legion now with nine points. It actually opened up a game quicker than a gaming centric Legion Phone Pro. Very surprising there from the Xperia 1 Mark II. And going into our second game over here, flip diving, which one can do it? This time the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro opens up this game faster. Now with 14 points, once again, a five point lead to that of the Xperia 1 Mark II. Going into Temple Run 2, I rarely ever see this, but it was a complete tie over here, neck and neck when opening up this game. So I'm very impressed when it comes to the Xperia 1 Mark II here. And our last game of the bunch, last app of the 20 is PUBG Mobile, a lot longer to load. Which one can open it up quicker? The gaming centric 
Legion grabs it. 15 seconds, just 0.5 seconds quicker than that of the Xperia 1 Mark II. Not a big difference over there. Round 3 is all about RAM management. Now, I haven't sped it up this time around in this specific speed test because it gets really interesting. We have the same amount of RAM on both devices, both LP DDR5 RAM with 8 gigs of RAM storage, 8 gigs of memory there. And so far, the Xperia 1 Mark II has kept three apps open where the Legion Phone Pro has killed it. So far, so good for the Lenovo in the first couple apps, only going behind by three points. But now the Sony is absolutely crushing it with a five point lead, now a six point lead after opening up Facebook. Instagram, seven point lead over there. The Lenovo seems to be a bit of a Xiaomi. If you know what I'm saying, Xiaomi has terrible RAM management. And in all the speed tests I've done with the Lenovo Legion Pro so far, its RAM management has been absolutely shocking. And I have made sure to turn all battery optimizations off in the background. So it should have no problem keeping just 20 apps open. Even a four gig RAM iPhone can do that. Nevertheless, 12 points, now 13 points for the Xperia 1 Mark II, keeping all the games open. While the gaming phone, the Legion Phone Pro is Killing all of them, very strange. Nevertheless, closing off round three with 15 points on the Xperia 1 Mark II as opposed to zero on the Gaming Legion Phone Pro. So the Xperia 1 Mark II actually came out on top in terms of total points, six point lead over there. But if we look at just raw speed, round two is where we should focus our attention to. 15 points for the Legion Phone Pro as opposed to nine on the Xperia, meaning that the Legion is indeed faster than the Xperia, but that RAM management is a bit of a deal breaker if you ask me. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.